Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Random Bullshit. And in this episode of Random Bullshit, I'm going to talk about the, the, the photo that went viral from, a, a, it's an image of a young black male in Florida praying over a police officer. And what I want to say is, folks, when you subject black kids, especially black males, to do this type of thing, all you're doing is basically opening the door to let these cops know and the rest of these George Zimmerman wannabes that it's okay to gun black males down because this is what we get in return. This is how they thank us. This is how they reward us. Folks, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because that uh, shadow ban is definitely in full effect. Now, me personally, I don't believe that this is something genuinely that this young man wanted to do, that he was probably coerced by somebody else, more likely their parents. Because they know when they do, when, when, when images like this of, of black children doing things like this, especially black males, there's going to be some kind of uh, cameras not too far behind and the media is going to try to put this image out here to cover up how they gun down black folks in America, especially uh, black males and do not get it twisted. They also, the police also will murder uh, children. We all seen this with uh, Tamir Rice, and if I'm not mistaken, the young lady named Ayanna Taylor. So killing black children is is not out of uh, the police bag of tricks. Now, it's it's really sad the simple fact that this guy is even praying over this police officer and black folks got to stop this whole forgiveness stuff y'all really especially you black you black christians y'all really need to read that fucking bible because jesus wasn't a forgiven man i mean that just that's just in the bible you know he didn't come to change anything he came to enforce the laws of god so doing all this forgiving bullshit when these fucking cops are killing black folks with impunity is just really disgusting so you guys need to knock it off you black christians doing all this stuff because it's really just sad and pathetic and for black folks that are putting their children coercing their children to do things like this to have these uh to do this stuff with these images uh with, with cops and stuff you know, you shouldn't subject your kids to this type of activities. You know, personally, in my my beliefs that if you black folks in this country, you need to keep your kids away from the cops, especially the males. Because they have a very bad reputation of doing harm to black males in this country. And just any parent that feel the need to seek that type of attention, then go do it your fucking self. Don't put your kids up to doing this stuff. You are literally playing with fire. Now, in that image, and I'm going to put it in the thumbnail, but in that photo of the young black man praying over the police officer, I wouldn't be surprised 30 days, 90 days, 6 months down the road, this same cop or some other cop gun this young man down and there have been stories out there that this type of stuff have happening that's why as a black person in this country the best thing you can do for your safety is to stay far away from the police period and definitely do not be putting no type of images like that in there we already know the police have a bad reputation of playing narcotics, uh, guns, all kind of shit on black folks in this country. Just like what happened to Josh Brown, Joshua Brown. Police said that they solved that murder. One guy, they caught one, two guys. They still looking for the third guy said they found 
12 pounds of marijuana in Joshua Brown's apartment. But what Dallas failed to say that all also in 2004, we planted over 150 pounds of coke on innocent uh, citizens in the Dallas Fort Worth area. See, they didn't tell you that. So when you hear the cops say that they found 12 pounds of marijuana in Josh Brown's apartment, you better take that shit with a grain of salt. You just better take that shit with a grain of salt. Folks, you have to stay vigilant and stop kowtowing to these fucking cops or, or call the people out and put these people in place that do stuff like this. They want to take images. I seen one thing this uh this this black kid was going around looking for silver us uh, silver servants, you know, in the community shaking their hand and stuff. Now ain't no kid gonna come up to their parents and be like, hey mom, I wanna go around the neighborhood and and, and shake police officers' hands. Some parent put that kid up to it because they wanted the attention. And this is a teaching horn at its worst. A teaching horn is bad, period. But this is just some of the most disgusting shit. Folks, you gotta understand that you cannot forgive these people because they have not forgiven themselves. They refuse to root out the bad cops. Oh, let me, let me think, because there is no good cops. So. We should not be letting the media use this type of stuff to portray the image of the police. Now we all know as black folks, we all know the things that these cops have done to people that look like us. So why shouldn't that narrative, the image of the police, if it's a good image, should come from us. If it don't come from us, then it shouldn't be put out there. You know, I've seen images of uh, white police police officers holding babies and stuff during tragedies like the one when the, when the black parents OD'd. Then you got this white woman calling this baby and her husband cop calls all the local media around telling them to put this image out there. And it was another image where um, the police officers was at a crash scene but they showed the white cop holding the kids. They cropped out where the black cop was holding kids right, right next to them. You see, they put those type of images out so when they go and gun down black folks, especially black men, then you, you get the media up there saying, oh, this must be, uh, you know, not all cops are bad because look, here's a cop giving a kid a five or playing basketball with him and stuff like that. The only reason why a cop go up to a bunch of black kids and want to play basketball with them because they're looking for some information on them and whoever else they know. Don't give a shit about them kids. And if you're a black person out here doing that fuckery, you need to knock it off. Y'all black folks need to get on cold and fuck all this forgiveness shit. You know, a motherfucker disrespects you in the hood or, or, or step on your shoe or something, you be ready to fucking blow their head off. The motherfucking cops pull up smacking motherfuckers around. Oh, forgive, forgive, forgive. Fuck that. It's a goddamn shame. You know, make sure y'all get them like buttons up too. Make sure y'all get them likes up. Get them likes up. So everybody can hear this information. We should not be letting black children use in these photo ops with the police for propaganda. Because when they show them images on mainstream media, they're going to be like, well... You know, here's a photo of a guy, a black kid giving the police a hug. So that black guy over there that got gunned down, he must have been a bad guy. And that's the shit they do. Plaster that shit all over the fucking place. Like, we gotta knock that shit off. Seriously. These motherfuckers out here killing us. And you got black folks letting their kid take photo ops and stuff with the cops. The same cops that have turned around probably the next day and gun that kid down giving an opportunity. So it's just sick. Black males, young black males definitely should not be speaking to the police.
period at all not until these these uh thugs with a badge and a gun are rooted up out of there if you like the content feel free to share it like and subscribe to the channel peace and i'm out